And Michaela, in just the last few minutes, we've had more, several more nearby residents coming out wondering what's going on. We talked to one about 20 minutes ago who said she had her windows open. She heard an unusual popping noise. So we'll take you right over the scene here. Uh, this is what's happening right now. We can tell you that we're on East Walnut, an overpass looking directly over where this all happened, that silver Chevy sedan where that child was struck. And there's a clear shot of at least one bullet hole near the back of that vehicle. It was just after 8 a.m. There was a report of shots fired on the 55 just south of Chapman before the Catella off-ramp. The first CHP unit responded at 8-11 this morning, and Sky Fox was overhead when that child was being transported by ambulance right now at Children's Hospital in Orange County in an unknown condition. So we're waiting for more information on that. Meanwhile, investigators, they've been checking the exterior of that silver Chevy sedan, at least, again, one clear shot of a bullet hole in the back. And it appears the CHP, coming back out here live, uh, detectives with the CHP out of uniform and in unmarked vehicles. That's been part of the effort to increase surveillance on the freeways since this string of BB or pellet gun shootings that we've been talking about. We talked to one this morning who said uh, one piece of advice was to drive with your windows rolled up. But again, this appears to be an actual shooting, not a BB gun or a pellet. You're looking at the southbound lanes that are completely shut down right now, Michaela. So we'll have more information as soon as we get an update from the CHP out okay, here. Again, this happened around, we believe, uh, just before 8 a.m. Nearby witnesses say they heard a loud noise around that time and then soon after sirens and helicopters overhead. Mario again on the scene. Sky Fox was overhead earlier. Ter terrible news uh, to be sure. We'll try to update you throughout the day here at Fox 11.